Nimble Streamer server playlist is configured via text.json config files. To make these files, you can use our online server playlist generator web UI. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to create a couple of playlists using this web UI. We assume that the latest Nimble Streamer is already installed on your server. Nimble Streamer instance needs live transcoder and its active license to make playlists work. You also need to have your VOD files ready for further usage as described in our specification. Now let's take the name of one of your local files and use it for our first playlist. Go to Generator Web UI and enter the first playlist output live stream name. It needs to have an application name and a stream name with which it will appear in further use cases. All content in the playlist is contained in one or more blocks and you can define each block's name. Then enter a full path to your local file. You may also specify optional parameters for playback offer, duration, video and audio tracks, and also blocks start time. Another option is to loop the specified block to make this group of files play in cycle. This is what we'll use here to make one file play in the infinite loop. Let's add another playlist which will use a number of files. We have a button to add the text list of files for your convenience. In Linux you can use a command we provide there. Copy and paste the result to have all files added. We will loop them like we did for a previous block. Once you're done with the setup, click on Show Playlist button to get the resulting JSON configuration. You can also download it as a text file. Let's copy it to the clipboard. We'll use a console editor to paste the playlist config from the playlist generator page into a text file. The final step is to add the config file full path into the nimble streamer config file using a respective parameter. Save the config and restart nimble instance to apply it. Now let's check the live streams which are generated by the server playlist feature set. Go to the nimble streamer menu and choose live streams. Click on outgoing streams number for the respective server. You can see two new output streams. Now we will check both streams by getting their URLs in sample URL dialog and playing them in HLS player. Both streams are working as expected. Check this video description for more details about the server playlist feature set.